Today I'm going to show you the top 100 Minecraft build hacks from the past year. And each hack is better than the last. But if you guys find all 10 hidden blobfish we put in this video, you're going to walk away a Minecraft pro. All right, guys, so our first viral hack, we've got the redstone doorbell. So this was super viral a long time ago. I don't know if it still holds up to this day, but I know that very few people use it. Oh, so when you close the door, it makes a doorbell sound and kind of shows that you're there. I mean, it's a cool design. It looks like all you do is redstone. Okay, that's how it's supposed to look. Now, I believe the door goes on top of that. So we're going to pop down a door on this. This will be their front door. This connects to an observer that's on the third tick and then maybe a bell. Is that it? Oh, this is not even what I expected. I was thinking they were going to use a bell. They actually don't use a bell. Wait a minute. Does this sound better than a bell? Oh, 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 look at this. This is going to be the most dramatic entrance ever just because I need to make this doorbell really shine. Okay, I'm usually going for a really interesting vibe and somehow I made cursed water for our front door. But anyway, take a look at how cool this thing works right now. Ready? Ding. All right, now would this base be complete if we didn't include an aquarium? It's like one of the most like freaking important things in Minecraft. Look at this thing, all right? So this is kind of an advanced aquarium. It's a fireplace aquarium. It's got both of them mixed together. You literally can put the fish around the fire. This is some like real rich stuff. And I think that's gonna look good in this base. All right, this is where we're going to make our campfire water fountain. Seems like a really cool idea. We're gonna put polished granite up front and then we're gonna put the campfire here. And then this is where the cage is going to be. Gotta keep the campfire safe from the kids. Okay, I feel like you gotta do full brick around the fire. It's just not gonna look right without the full brick. So it's gonna look like that. And then just a small piece in the back to get that like a nice little chimney vibe. So there's your fire. Now we just have to make the aquarium. So ours is going to be a little bigger, obviously, because I feel like if you have an aquarium, you got to go all out. So we can improve this a smidge and we're going to take it down a little farther. Why not? Now let's get our water in there. Dude, this is going to be like one of the best looking build hacks ever. Now we just got to decorate it like a normal tank. I feel like the red's going to look really good in here, like a little bit of fire coral, like just a little bit, not too much. Don't forget the details, guys. Change those blocks at the bottom. That was dirt. Now it's wood and it looks better. And you can look down a little deeper on this side than you can over here. Now we just got to supply it with some fish. A nice little maintenance area so you can get in there and help your fish out. I don't think you can leave through this. If you go in there, you're stuck. It's more of a cosmetic feature. This is one of my favorite fireplaces I've ever seen. Like, aquariums look good. Fireplaces look good. Combining them together is incredible. Smack in the middle is a totem to a maybe an old lost fish friend. Look at that. That's a little Charlie right there. Well, that's weird to do instead of flushing it down the toilet. Okay, so next up, guys, we're going to try like a really cool modern bed design. You know you need to see one of these in a build hack video. Like, Minecraft beds are kind of boring. So take a look at how this one turns out. This is crazy. They're using like coral fans to make it look really cool in the ground. They've got these like lanterns on the side. This is incredible. Okay, I think brown is underrated. I think it looks good. Um, we're going to do a little bit smaller of a bed. I'm going to try to switch this one up. I don't know if it's going to work with jungle wood, but take it out. All right. Hello. Hello, sir. I don't know the uh, physics behind how those torches are standing, but they are, and I am not going to complain about it. Is we really can't go over too much farther because we got that darn redstone right there again. We can't do anything about, so I guess um, the wall's going up here. I'm going to throw in a build hack for you right now. I, you, you look at this. You say, how could you close it up? You can't move the redstone. No, but you can use a spruce trap door. Boom. Nobody's the wiser. You got a maintenance shaft to get in there. I mean, it's a win-win, right? So this guy put like pillow sheets around the side for ours. Obviously, we committed to this very strange design here. All right, let's take a look at this bedroom right here. So you've got the Hobbit door to walk in. Creepy looking bed. You have no windows yet. So I guess we should add like a couple of those so it feels less disturbing. There we go. You got a nice little view in here. It still looks creepy to me, but it's at least got a view. There we go. This is looking good. I don't know what to do about this one. Maybe a painting. Hide that a little bit. This actually looks pretty good. I didn't think this would be coming together at all. Oh, look at this. So we're taking uh, a super viral tree hack. Use a composter, put some fences in it, and you can make like a really unique looking like, I don't know, it's like a tree you see at like a mall. I'm not sure where to put this thing. How, where do you put a giant tree inside of a somewhat small base? Bing. Oh, I love it. That's great. Well, the outside of this looks hideous, so maybe we could put it on the outside. I really hate when you go to add something and you're like, dang, this will definitely make my base look better. And then you do it and you look at it and you're like, well, that's pretty not good. Now, this one I'm concerned about because it might look really bad. So that actually really does look like potting soil. I mean, I like the white stuff because it's like mold and all of my plants have mold. The more it looks like a giant sign with a bunch of arrows, the better, I guess. I feel like this just looks like an art project gone wrong. It's like something that your grandma makes and you get it and you're like, oh, thanks, grandma. I love it. And really, you hate it. So lighting is like super important in Minecraft. We all use it, I feel like, probably. So this guy has a bunch of super viral ways to make new lighting sources. Take a look. Oh, look at this. The lantern on a string. Oh, so he's like using some animal down there, tying a string to it. 
and then turning it into a really nice lantern. This is not going to match our vibe at all that we're going for in this space. All right, so this is how ours looks. To make it look even, it's going to have to be centered like this. We'll just bring our path out, and this will just be a dramatic entrance into our home, which doesn't really look that good right now, but it will. Pop down some of these. Nope, that didn't work. And then fence it up. God, these are so finicky. Just go where I need you to go. I really don't know about this. It's going to look really weird. Like, I feel like putting the string there actually is going to make it look worse. Plus, then you got a freaking hole you can see through, and you got animals down there you're abusing. I just don't think this is the move. I think instead, what we want is to put water down there. There we go. That looks nice. Then we can put some flowers on the side. A little decoration, a little vibe, huh? Wait a minute. I forgot we could use those. I feel like these are way too detailed to be Minecraft blocks. Am I the only one that feels like that? Like, they don't feel like they fit in the game. All right, there's literally, like, a thousand things we can do for a campsite. But there's a couple key important things we must do to make this look good. And it's create a jungle-themed campsite. So there's a couple ways you can do it. But I think what we'll do is first set up a nice little area by the water here. Nice little campfire zone. Yo, it's like a double-sided fire now. You got one on the outside and one on the inside. This is cool. I don't know if that should be in the ground, but I'm gonna make it in the ground anyway. Okay, so we got the campfire here. It looks pretty sweet. I think it, it looks weird down there. Okay, there we go. So I, I can't get this to work. Anyway, that looks fine. Now we're just gonna build a little bit of a tent out here in the corner. Now it looks like a tent and you got this little campsite down here. So you go look at this guys. You could sit up here, look outside, enjoy the view of the tank and then come over here and enjoy the fire. Look at the real sitting mix. A little chest in here. Oh, this is coming together. And then you can add some banners for even a little more privacy on the side. This looks good. I'm not going to lie to you. This part of the base actually looks good. This one's quite difficult. I think it's made by Mumbo Jumbo. You know, it's not going to be easy. Oh God. What if you touch it? <laughs> oh, the boat explosion. Dude, that is the most annoying thing you could ever do in Minecraft. I, I love this. The thing is, I don't really know how to make an efficient redstone clock like my boy Mumbo did. So I'm going to do a inefficient redstone clock because uh, well, I, I'm not that good. There we go. Redstone clock's done. Now, this build uh, low-key seems a little bit easy. I mean, you just walk around here and put a crafting table up and then put a bunch of boats into it. So, it doesn't seem that bad, in theory. He said press Q on it? Yo, I didn't know you could craft and press Q to instantly craft. That is actually epic. Look at that. That looks so real. It looks so good. The only way you might be suspicious is if you see this little shadow right here. And you go, hmm, I don't know if shadow should be that dark. Let's see what happens when we get into it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's so weird. And the best part is for us, my bottom boat was a different color. And so all the others came out a different color of brown, which makes this kind of look like a glitch. That is epic, dude. So you put sea pickles below a minecart, and then your cod goes on the sea pickle. Wow, this one's a little bit complicated. But it is basically like a miniature fish tank. I've never seen this one. I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, deep slate's the best. So we're gonna use deep slate. We're gonna put it around, and the sea pickle will go in the center, just like this, with some water. And then all we need to do now is get our minecart in there. This is the part I'm worried about. Like, if it breaks, that was good. I love when things work in life. Now, the somewhat difficult part. Somehow, we got to get a fish in here and get it to fall in. Could I just pop it down like this? Look at that. We did it. We made a miniature fish tank using a minecart. One of the weirder builds I've seen in my life. This one's phenomenal because, first off, no one uses melons. But second off, this looks like your grandma's basement. I know it. Look at the interesting roof and floor pattern. There is a lot to unpack here, and this is really cool. Now, for the floor, it gets really weird because it looks like he's using beehives as the floor. That's a build hack I've never seen. Is that right? I did not realize beehives made, like, such a premium-looking wood. Granny's got some taste now. This is totally new. I've never seen this one before. The crazy thing about this, though, is it doesn't stop here. In fact, they stick the bed into the wall. Very fascinating. They actually, no, they put the bed like this, all right? How do they do the bed? I don't know how they do the bed. I know behind the bed is this. The side of the bed is this, but how do they make the bed look like that? How do they get rid of the pillow? So there's your couch. It reminds me of SpongeBob's grandma's house right now a little bit. And now here's what's crazy. The roof, you might not have guessed, is lecterns. And take a look. You can actually make a crazy pattern by placing the lecterns like this on your roof. Your roof has like an alternating oak pattern, which is basically impossible to get in Minecraft. Phenomenal. This one, 10 out of 10. Another super crazy detailed build hack. All right, these are good because they separate you from the Minecraft casuals. You don't want to be a casual. All right, you want to be a pro. Minecraft calcite, a block that none of us use, can be used in a snowstorm. Exquisite. All right, so here is the situation. You got a village right off the side of a giant glacier. All right, in your map. You're going to go down, pull out some calcite and not, not clay. Not clay again, still calcite. And this is a block that's, it's not bad, but let's see how it looks as like a snow path. So we're going to pretend like they're walking up this mountain, maybe a little bit like this. We're not going to turn around to see it until we've kind of finalized the whole product here. Look at this. Look at this. This looks, this actually looks incredible. It, it actually fits so well. It reminds me of putting a, like a, just a path block down in a village, but just what it would look like if you did it in snow. This is good. 10 out of 10 hack. Very advanced tip coming in, folks. If you name a Vindicator Johnny, 
They become a perfect mm -hmm. chef for your base. As food falls, they slaughter the food for you and literally kill it with a giant ax. Look how incredible this is. So we're going to use one of these beautiful humble abodes to store our Vindicator named Johnny. Obviously lock him in so he can't escape. And then put him in like a little counter, maybe something like, a little something like this right back here in the corner. And then a trap door to secure him in here. Can't let him escape. Now we pop the Vindicator down. No. Well, that sucks. So this one's now named Johnny. So we're going to pop down the food. I don't want him to be able to get up here. All right, Johnny, get on down in there. Now you shouldn't be able to jump and you should be able to kill the chickens that fall. Oh, but he's too far away now. Boy, this is a tricky situation. It does work. This is such a cool way to kill your mobs. Like, don't be using pistons, guys. Get yourself a personal chef, all right? Play like a pro. Get yourself a Johnny today. Now, if you somehow still haven't learned something in this video, and you know every one of these hacks, this one's gonna blow your mind because the simplicity of it is beautiful. This is a new way to build a fantasy woodland map inside of your streets. Look at how pretty this thing looks. This is gorgeous. The moss, the glow berries, the freaking cobblestone. This is something else. All right, let's try it now. So moss goes down. Then your brick wall, then your chain, then your glow berries. But I don't know how to particularly place them like this. Oh, then you just got to bone nail them. Look at that. That is like a very cool fantasy light. I don't know how you could even improve something like this. Maybe even moss on the roof. Nope, not that. Don't do that one. Oh, cool. Look at this one. If you want to make it look like a door fell on the ground, you can just use literally spruce doors and then like spruce... Spru spruce trap doors on the ground and it looks like a spruce door fell all right let's go take a house and uh let's do it to an actual village house because this is a perfect scenario this one has two doors okay one door goes down and the second one just on the floor yo that's pretty sick that looks like some giant beast came in and destroyed it you could use the glow lichen lichen you could put this on your windows and then this actually makes your windows look cracked Look at that. It's like your house is broken into, dude. This is crazy. Now, if you want to make your Minecraft bedroom look way cooler, because why wouldn't you want to do that? You need to use this hack right here. But when we take off this little black strip in the picture, you're going to see the genius behind the detail. Using hay, you create a beautiful blanket on top of your bed. So in order to make this super bed, what we're going to do here is place down the bed just like normal, right? If you're trying to make like a bed out of sand, you do this, and then you put some pillows in the back, maybe, with some snow. And then you got yourself like a nice looking bed. But to elevate it a little bit more, you can use this micro build hack by putting hay bales, right? the center you gotta get the right angle because you want that stripe along the center and that gives you this beautiful blanket style vibe to it and then you elevate it even more by taking some natural wood in your surrounding area ba boom ba boom pop down a couple candles on either side looks incredible and then you can even give your freaking dresser actual drawers now that is how you elevate your bedroom if you want to take that bedroom and give it a subtle lighting without being too bright because you know you got to sleep in pure darkness you could actually just use the glow lichen lichen i still don't know how to say that word and place it around we'll take these candles out to give it a true dark vibe including these frames and you want it to stay dark because you're trying to enjoy the night and enjoy the stargazing you can just do a couple of these around so it's just a faint subtle lightness it's enough to stop mobs from spawning and it's not too much that's going to ruin your stargazing plus you could honestly like be pretty clever about it and like hide it so that it's literally invisible now look at that. You've got fully lit, just a beautiful ambient atmosphere here, and you don't know where the light's coming from. This actually looks really cool. Apparently, you can create a satisfying whirlpool in Minecraft where each line seven blocks long, and when you put items in, it makes a circle. I'm gonna see if it makes a perfect circle in the game. I think I actually did it. I'm not sure. That was like kind of weird, mess with your brain a little bit, but let's put the water down and see what this water does here. This could be a cool piece to put like outside of your base or underneath a glass floor as like a design, if it works. Let's see. Do I spin? Thing is, I really don't know how to tell if it's right other than just, like, spamming items in. So let's start with, like, a bunch of red and see, like, what happens. Like, shouldn't matter theoretically where I put them. <laughs> okay. That is a good sign. Pop those in. Pop a couple yellow in here. Pop a couple green in here. Pop a couple dark green in here. A couple blue in here. A couple more blue in here. A couple purple in here. And so far, it is looking really good. I can't believe it actually works. Look at it. You can make circles in Minecraft. I'm gonna try it with chickens real quick just to see. All right, guys, if you were wondering, does it work with chickens? The answer is kind of. It's like throwing them into a washing machine. If you've ever seen that before in real life, now, now you can imagine what that looks like. Now, this build hack is perfect if you need to have a secret layer in your base. Maybe a place to hide your items from your friends. Because all you do is take a painting and put it over a secret door. But there's a little bit more. It's not as simple as you think. This isn't your ordinary painting door. So I know what you're thinking. Zach, I've already seen painting doors. I've already done this. No, you have not done this because this one is way more tricky than the original painting doors. So if you've been living under a rock <laughs> lately and you don't know, the original painting idea is like this. You just put down a painting and then put some signs behind it. And you can, of course, just walk through the painting. It's a nice little secret door, right? Boom, 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 it's cool. But it's too easy. People already know about it. So 2021 came along. People have said, let's upgrade this. Let's make it a little bit crazier. And so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure your painting's a little bit lower than that. 
So now instead of just walking through the door, what you've got here is a door that actually needs the pressure plate to be activated to walk through. So if you try to walk through the front, there's no way for you to get through. You'd think, oh, it's just a normal painting. You would never expect there to be a special area you have to throw an item to get in. This is what it could actually look like in practice if you were to make one of these bad boys. You're going to walk up, throw that on there, open the door, and bang, you're able to walk inside of your base and literally do whatever you want in here. It's really awesome. Now, if you're like me, you've you probably never asked the question, can I open my door? with fire. Wait, that's that confusing? Hold up. This has got to be the worst idea I've ever seen in my entire life. How would we even make this and why would anyone use it? This is the worst idea ever. Honestly, I'm going for the stone jungle plank design. Like, I feel like it's clean. So apparently this observer needs to face up. So when this burns, and we'll just give it a little test run right here to see if that gives it off any signal. Mine didn't even give off a signal. That takes forever to burn. Holy crap. I'm trying to get a single test in, and the thing's been cooking for like an entire day. It's literally almost nighttime. Oh, it did give a signal. Nothing happened. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do this? Guys, this one is not easy to build. I have no idea how anything like this is possible. This is actually insane. I'm gonna, I'm really just gonna think it through and see if I can logically figure it out because there's no picture that can help me do this. But basically, block breaks, redstone signal needs to give off a signal that's going to open up a door. Mm. This is not gonna be efficient, but it might work. It probably won't work. Just gotta trust myself. A little bit more this. Extension. So this serves zero purpose for this work. Quite, quite fast. Woo, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it took me a while and this is definitely not the most efficient design you could ever make in your base. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I'd recommend doing this because it's, it's, it's not well made at all. But here's the idea. You're gonna have your door like this. You walk up, you're gonna... You're gonna burn. What? Okay. I can't even light it on fire. Does this even make sense? Why, why is it, how? I have created wood that can't burn. Anyway, you get this thing placed. You get the stuff burning. Please pay no attention to my redstone. It's honestly embarrassing what I had to do to make this thing work. Spread, spread, spread. Oh, look, it broke. This will open. Boom, you walk through very, I mean, it's a, it's a tight window. You got to walk through real fast and you got to make your base out of stone. There is literally no reason ever to use this. Oh, guys, look at this sign that was placed here. What does that say? I don't know. See if you can read that. Guys, this is actually the most cursed build I've ever seen in my life. You can make a slanted door? <laughs> what? Whoa, I've not ever in my life seen this build. That looks so simple. It's like end rod, end rod, end rod, and then one more end rod. So it's like four tall, and then literally you use the levers to make it slanted. Is that even, I don't know if that's possible. I can't place anything on here myself. I don't think this works. I don't think you can do this. I thought that was too good to be true, and I think it is. But I know you guys still want a cursed lantern, so I'm going to give you one. This little lover fell special today. I whipped this one up just a couple seconds ago. So I call that the old lover lantern, guys. It's just, it's a beautiful, innovative design right there. You put that out inside your farm, put it on the side of your road. This is the kind of build the world needs to see more of. Thank you. Now, have you ever wished there was like legitimate tombstones in Minecraft, like ways to bury your dead pets because you've got a collection of them and I know you do? Well, this one is kind of like a, uh, <laughs> just a giant way to bury things, to be honest with you. It's like a giant Egyptian tomb. Take your lecterns and place them down opposite directions, side by side. Like, is this a thing you're going to use in your base? The original design looks just like this. And to me, honestly, looks more like a pirate ship crashed and like got turned upside down. So let's try to increase the tombness of this tomb. First off, you're never going to see a tomb sitting out in broad daylight. Why do I know this? I I don't actually. I'm just kind of guessing. There's probably a good chance the top of it would open up so that their soul could go up to whatever, you know, whatever they believe in. So you got to have an opening right there. And then I think we need just a little more detail on these pillars. There's also generally some gold involved somewhere. So I would say probably the outside would be lined with it because they're probably loaded and rich if they have a tomb like this. So, and then just for good measure, what I would probably say is safe is just put one of these down. Just keep the demons inside. All right. All right. And this particular person who died had an affinity for eggs, loved eggs and diamonds, very refined taste. Now this one is purely cosmetic. Like you're not getting no secret base entrance in this design. You're just getting a build that's going to impress your friends to the point where they might hire you as a professional builder. Let me show you the version of this weight bench that most people are familiar with. So if you're like most people and you're trying to make like a gym in your base, because like obviously we all want gyms in our house because that's kind of legit and rich people have it. What I would say most people do is something like this. You put down two iron blocks, you connect these as if it's like a barbell and then you pretend like that's a barbell. And it's not bad. I mean, it works. All right, so the first step we got to do here is make the actual bench. So you do two upside down staircases connected to slabs and that's your bench. A little bit bigger than the other one. Obviously you got to get your black headstone rest, the little pillow that's going on back there. And now we make the actual barbell, which is very impressive. So this is going to be tricky to build and I don't know if it's going to work. 
So there, what he's doing is he's using lecterns like this, as if it's like that little bench thing that you lock the bench on. And then grindstones on the side. Again, a very strange build. Never have seen anything like this. How do you make these go sideways? Ah, getting these placed is half the battle, to be honest with you. These are supposed to be the other way around, and mine just won't go the other way around. So I'm just going to put this down here for now. This is the actual barbell itself. So that is your new and improved, updated 2021 version of the barbell. I think it looks good, but the, the thing is, like, I don't know, truly, if I would see this and know what it is. Like, I feel like there's so much going on. I think I'm probably going to stick to the classic. This guy learned how to make a miniature nether portal. I, it literally looks impossible. So I, I think this is some sort of a crazy nether portal banner. Now, this is one of the most difficult banner designs I've ever seen in Minecraft. There's no tutorial on how to make this, which means we've got to figure this out on our own. So I believe he's actually starting with a magenta banner. This is the first step. It's magenta with some black dye, and then the outside of it is the nether portal. Now we just need to do the inside, which I think is going to be a darker purple. There's like a brick design. All right, experiment number one is failed. Yeah. Number two. Could be this. There's a line right down the middle. How does he do this? All right, this is low-key one of the most difficult designs I've ever tried in my life. If you do that, how's he get the black on the bottom? How is this done? Let's try it again. Purple base, magenta overlay, purple bricks, magenta squiggly diamond. Yo, wait a minute. Yo, I think we did it. This is all my different variations of the banner trying to pull this one off. And I finally pulled it off and got the last one. Okay, that's our final banner. And that is like a miniature nether portal. Star Wars lightsabers. One of the coolest hacks ever. Obviously, there's signs through carpet. But is that even thing you can do? Now, this one's got a special place in my heart. Because I'm recently a new Star Wars fan. So, if this one doesn't work, I'm going to cry. He's somehow getting the sign to glitch up through the carpet. I don't see how you do that. How? How? This does not seem to be working. Unless... Oh, wait, unless you put it on the ground. Because then it would be taller, right? And then it would be the right height. So, does this work? No, 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 no. Oh, it does. It does. It does. That's how you do it. You put it on the ground. So that's our lightsaber. I did not know you could do this. Now, Loki, getting it to place here is not the easiest. I don't really know. It just kind of randomly happens. I mean, look, am, am I going to be honest? Does it look like a lightsaber? No, it looks like a pool cue table stick. To me, this says, like, I'm, I'm out here playing pool with the boys. Okay, so if you saw this, the question is, would you even think these are lightsabers? I mean, in a way, I could see it, but you can't put it on the wall, which I don't like, and it's not glowing. The only guess I have is if you set it tonight, you could get some glow to come through with an item frame. Okay, see, that's cool. You can put a glow frame under it and it still glows, so it gives it a little life. Okay, here's a really simple build hack it's a miniature end dimension that like could be used as a sick decoration in your base you got like the mini end towers you could use a dragon head like I i'm here for it i think it's cool the first step we have to do is just build our end island and really this is the hardest part because uh <laughs> i'm not good at building organic structures I mean, it's not the worst island I've ever seen. So to make the pillars, uh, I think we'll just place these in like a circle pattern. That's not too bad. Now, what's cool is they're using black candles here. I'm not really sure why. I don't, I don't think these even exist in there, but we'll throw it in anyway. Button goes in the center and then little things to hang it. I'm going to make these come out of the center here because it makes more sense to me because this is like the end crystal shooting beams into space. Yo, I like the different heights too. That's kind of fun. Look at that. You do this and you put it in your base and you make it a chandelier. This is sick looking, but I also want to put an end dragon in and see if I can make like a dragon head that looks okay. I mean, that's kind of nice, isn't it? This is a good build. All right, I can't lie to you. Okay, this one's kind of difficult. It's an overhead projector movie theater. How do you do that? Wait, what? It's actually glowing? White map art. Yo, this is actually so cool. I got plenty of time, so let's go ahead and knock this one out. All right, for this, we're not going to build the stairs or the room, just the projector. We got to see how usable this is. So the projector is like this with a trap door and then more. Honestly, looks like a spaceship. I'm assuming what he's using here is a bunch of glow frames to make the actual projector. This is such a cool idea. Is that the right scale? <laughs> this is gonna look sick. Okay, making the map art though is like low-key borderline impossible. It's like I have to literally cover an entire chunk in white. All right, we're going to try to get to the corner right here. Then we've got to fly all the way to the opposite end of this. I honestly have no idea how you would do this one without world edit. Please don't crash. Hey, all right. Now if I make a map, it should be all white. Yo, did I do it? I did it! Usually that takes me about an hour to do, so glad that I've learned how to do this quicker. So now back to our theater projection room. We've got to put this inside of the item frames, and since they're glow frames, it should look stunning. <laughs> oh, that's actually sick. Let's make it nighttime. Oh my gosh, dude. I need to put chairs down. Okay, it's not, it's not perfectly centered. Ignoring that small issue, this is a stunning build. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. The moon rising. Bro, this is beyond stunning. This is one of the greatest builds I've ever seen in my life. Someone made a freaking 7-Eleven in my eye. <laughs> What? We can really use neon lights now? You tell me what now? Honestly, like, let's just tie it into our movie theater. I'm gonna do it on the back here. I like the pluses. Those are cool. So let's do a full sign of pluses and let's see what we can do here. Dye them neon. Now we're going to copy and paste a couple of these. Okay. Now we're gonna do it again here. Again here. So we've got this cool design and now I gotta do is change the colors of these and they should look pretty stunning. Okay. Okay. It, it looks like a weird design, but then he puts a banner in the center. So we're just gonna do like a creeper banner or something, you know? This guy makes his glow by putting a sea lantern behind it. So now this is what the back of it looks like. 
like supposed to be like a cool movie theater scene. I think there's a huge potential for these, but I don't feel like I personally did it justice. An easy way to put blocks on top of slabs and create carpets. Whoa, what the heck? So this command allows you to lay, literally place any block you want anywhere. That seems very useful. I think this wall looks great. You're building some sort of a sick wall design and you want to put something right in the center of these and you can't. Okay, so you want to place something on the top of this, like a... Uh, amethyst. But when you go to place it, you can't because it has to be floating because you got a slab right there, right? So if I use this guy's command, let's see if it works. I type it in, change the block name to... Oh, crap. How do you spell amethyst? <laughs> I don't want to spell this name. Oh, well, it worked, but it created sand. That's not really entirely what my goal was. Oh my gosh, it worked. You put a cake in between two blocks. That's literally impossible to do. Wow. I don't know why this one became sand, and I also don't know why it's literally unbreakable. So the problem with this one is, I think if you use the command, whatever you place is permanent. There's no undoing this. Ever. Coming up next is the jellyfish. Coral underneath glass makes a jellyfish. I need some water immediately. All right, let's get some glass, just a bunch of different colors. Let's get down here and place this immediately. All right, we've got one here. We're going to put some hanging roots. Does that look like a jellyfish? It does, it does, it does. A clear jellyfish right here. At the end of the day, it's one of the best, simplest build hacks ever. And this one's a gradient roof. How am I supposed to do this? We gotta get this done in time, man. Okay, well, we got a really good setup here for the inventory. So what I'm gonna do is just try to create a micro gradient here going up to the top. Okay, I'm just gonna try to create a gradient here to see what this looks like if I follow his design a little bit. And you could use this on your roof, but we've gotta get this done ASAP. It might be one of the most beautiful builds too. Wait, this isn't so bad. This works. This is coming together. Could be a wall build, to be honest with you. Get some copper in there. Now the details come in here. You gotta convert to real copper really quick. Quickly. Then you got to do some orange wool, then some orange concrete, and then in this corner, we're going to take out some diamond, and we're going to do some sea lanterns. No. Prismarine, and then no, can't be, I can't be making typos right here. Here we go. Blue concrete powder, prismarine. Okay, so if we zoom out, this is what the gradient looks like. It doesn't look great as a wall, but as a roof, it's probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. You can connect walls with glass panes. Oh my gosh, a vertical slab. It looks like a vertical slab with walls. This is so easy to do. This is perfect. We're going to make a simple wall right here. So this is what your wall looks like in your base. And then what the guy is suggesting is you can connect these together. Maybe something like that and give it a very unique. Con oh, that's great. It actually does connect to this. This looks really cool. Look at that. That's actually cool. It actually looks like vertical slabs. And I think you could mix them together. <laughs> and you can literally put an actual vertical slab in the middle. So this is literally the way to make a vertical slab. And if your glass is clear, it looks even more realistic. Niche building trick. Acacia wood and dead horn coral make for great grayscale te trees. Acacia wood. Dead. Corn. Corn? Corn? Horn. Not corn. This is it. This is the final stretch. Time's running out. Let's go. No, I have a better idea. We're not going to get it in time by building. We can do it like this. I can build a tree like this. Then, there's no way we have time. Come on. Okay, replace acacia leaves with dead corn, horn, coral, block. We did it. That's the final build right here. This is it. This is what it looks like. And it looks really kind of good. You just kind of cover the top of it. And it creates an amazing grayscale tree. It's beautiful. All right, our next build hack coming in here is this very beautiful picture. Now, before I show it to you guys, I want you to imagine all the things it can be. Imagine something so incredible, so beautiful. And now throw it out because it's not incredible or beautiful. It's actually a dead tree. All right, so we've got the facade of our house. Now what we're going to do, honestly, is start on this side because I feel like I like the sunlight. So it looks like just like this. A little bit of deep slate. A little deep slate. Okay, I'm sorry. It's getting weird. So there's your example of a broken down tree. It's like burnt falls in the ground. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it looks good and it's really coming together. This is like an optical illusion. So on the left here, we're going to cover up the middle. You see dirt. You're like, okay. okay, is that cool? On the right, you see stone and in the middle, it's stone dirt. To make this illusion work, I don't think you can just cover it or it doesn't look right. So what we got to do is like maybe do it like this and kind of like put it in front of the base. Now, let's see if I put them next to each other. Does that actually help? Does it look good? The problem is when it's next to the broken glass, you can tell it's lichen. 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 Luchen. Luchen. Lachen. I'm not sure how to say the word. And when it's over here, it's just slightly a different color to the point where you might recognize it. You might not. It's, it's tough to say. So yeah, well. Definitely could be a winner today. Now, you can make secret messages in walls by waxing certain parts of a copper wall. You can make a hidden message. Oh, that's cool. Problem is, people that vote on this are not going to know the coolness factor. They're just going to see a smiley face and think, oh, that's kind of dumb. Also, I don't know how the smiley face is going to look. I think it's going to be like one of those emojis where the line is straight to the mouth. Like, it's not going to be smiling. I just, I don't know where the things are being placed. It's kind of hard. We're going to have to let this one play out and come back to this later to see. Which means you got to stay for the whole video now. See that? I tricked you. Now you can't leave. You're stuck here forever. Oh, this is clever. Is that even possible? You're telling me you can put an item frame behind- Wait, what? How did you do this? We're gonna get purple crimson because it contrasts the green better. Hello, if you're seeing this message right now, my name is John Jacob. I've been trapped inside this video game by Zach and I need help. All of us are real human beings. We are not slimes. Please help us immediately. What goes first, the painting or the frame? My only other guess is that maybe you open up like a secret doorway and put a painting in it like that. I mean, I don't, I don't see how that's gonna do anything, right? I have literally no idea how this is done. I'm just sitting here looking at a freaking- Purple wall? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. 
As I tried to place this painting for what felt like 30 minutes, nothing was working. So I came to the conclusion that Mojang patched it. This is a very exotic design. Doesn't fit in at all to what we're making here. Two walls and a lotus flower, but it does look good. All right. So you can see two variations. I gotta say, having seen these in real life, they are beautiful. What we'll do is we'll make like a little pond right in the front, just like this. Speed water placing right there. I mean the water placing world records. Then we're gonna make um, a shape, which looks like this. Trap door in the middle, and then a lotus. Oh. We need more water, but this is kind of fun. I can see this design in one of two places. One, it's gonna be in the middle of like a beautiful, beautiful forest, just tying the whole place together. And the second one's in the backyard of like old Karen mom. Oh God, oh God, this one's tough. Team, this team is, this team is gonna be a, this one's gonna be a doozy, isn't it? You give me, you give me three easy ones, then you come in and make a full on piano. The speed this guy's building it shows me that this is someone who has built multiple pianos in his days. So we're gonna time it. So that guy took 30 seconds, starts right now. I'm gonna take more time getting the items than this guy even took to make it. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do here is dig a hole. And then it looked like about three snows, some armor stands, dragon heads. How do I do this? How do you get the staircases down? Interesting, it actually comes out a little bit. Doesn't do it right there. Okay, okay, that's unique. I think we're I think we're losing the challenge, by the way. Oh, the bunk bed build, a very popular build that I've seen on TikTok. Um, it's basically got an aquarium in the back. Like this is pretty incredible. And if we skip to the end here, look at that. I mean, it's not even a bunk bed, to be honest. It's like a bed with a literal bed on top of it. So there's gonna be two beds here. Okay, there's our two beds. Okay, that is a decent start for this. We just gotta go ahead and give this whole thing like a little white treatment here. All right, so there's behind the bed. I think it looks okay right now. I'd definitely be comfortable sleeping right here. Ladder's gonna go up on the side. Very unique design here with the old barrel ladder. You don't see that too often. Maybe one higher. I feel like one higher is good because then if you do one higher, then you can cover up all this water here. This is actually like not easy to make. I just want you guys to know before you judge me. Okay, so there's our bed. It, it really doesn't look too bad. Like it's got like a definitely like a cozy vibe to it. All right, let's see what we got here now. It says test maze design. Oh, is he making a maze using stairs? Oh, that's kind of clever. Oh, it's like a test maze, like an animal laboratory testing maze. Oh, that's creative. So it seems like you kind of just randomly place this. I mean, I don't know how to make a maze. So like, we're just gonna, <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, that doesn't look like a maze. It looks like a middle finger. Okay, well, I think I made a maze. I'm not really sure what you call this thing. It's more of a straight line with two turns in it, but it gets the job done. So then we're going to do a barrel and a barrel. Well, that doesn't work, does it? I was trying to make my own creative maze. It just, it's not a good idea. Hmm, it's not great. Let's put the rabbit in there. Oh, come on, get in there now. There we go. Rabbit's in the cage, rabbit's in the cage. Get the roof on it. Oh my gosh, look, the rabbit actually goes in the cage. Look at how crazy this is. Please, we're not joking. We're real people. We're not actually Steve's. We need your help. Oh, it's just like literally building like miniature buildings and stuff using stairs. Wow, this mini village is so incredibly detailed. So I'm going to use this as like a reference, but I'm going to try to make my own style. Although we know how that pays off. So I think these are mostly what we need. So we'll just add like a winding path, you know, try to try to make it look natural. Okay. And then we're going to do our well. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Crap. There we go. Okay. So that's our well in the center. It looks very nice. And then to make the houses, I think it was like this. Very creative way to make a little miniature house, isn't it? Like it, it gets the job done, doesn't it? We could make some little trees. Little baby trees. This would be kind of a fun little thing to play in. I don't know. Like as a kid, if I saw this, I would freak out. Weird to actually plant grass like this, like instead of using bone meal, but I feel like at a small scale, you have to. Get that bell in there. You know, the city doesn't look complete until we get a bell in there. So we're starting with a basketball court that includes a basketball jump pad. What exactly does that mean? All right, make the hoop. We know how to do that. It's gonna be slime with redstone all around it. Dang, that's a cool build. So he just makes a slime bouncer that lets oh, you wait. slam dunk into a net. I don't, know, I don't know how high to make it, so we'll just kind of estimate probably about there. Then we just need to make a little uh, redstone bumper right here, which should be pretty easy to do. So I think we'll do like right here. So we'll do a piston here with slime on it. Redstone here, redstone here. If I put grass in a block, is that all it takes? Obviously I forgot the slime would pick everything up. So I got to do it like this. Now we should be able to dunk. I don't know if I'm going to get the right distance, but here we go. Oh, there it is. I would say that's a successful dunk right there. That's definitely going in. Coming in with a very elegant solution to deck out the inside of your house, folks. The interior cage for the birds. All right, so we need a wall. I think we're just gonna do one in the middle because like, oh, that's, that's not even even. All right, this will be the middle. Get a parrot here. There we go. And then we're gonna slam it down with a little bit of a piston. I don't know if I gotta push it down twice. That appears as though I do. Yo, wait a minute. This is pushing the entire thing. It's pushing down the, that's not supposed to happen. That doesn't even make sense. Dude, look at that. It's actually pushing the trap door down. This one's not working for us. 
Oh, a mini nether biome. So far, I'm liking the design. I think that centerpiece is gonna be some lava in there. That's pretty clean. Oh, he put it, how did he? So he made an item frame portal. I mean, the amount of time he took to make that is pretty high. All right, first thing we must do is create our foundation. Our beautiful lava lake in the middle. I am realizing now that I placed the wrong blocks down, so I can't actually place anything on them. That was a mistake. All right, there's our little miniature nether, and I think that came together well. This is a really cool one, and you can go to a jungle biome to pull this one off. All you're gonna need is some vines and a nice wall to work off of, so this one looks pretty good. You're gonna replace the stone with redstone ore, and uh, it looks weird, but the, with the new texture, when you put vines over it, it actually starts to look a little bit like fruit in the background, and so then you can get some lapis, and you can do the same thing, and suddenly, you've got blueberries and raspberries all over your wall instead of just a normal vine. It looks boring. Now, tell me this does doesn't look a thousand times better. And frankly, I think the blueberries look better because the rest don't got particles and like, I don't know who's eating particle berries. So here's our gold. We're gonna do our diamond down here. We're gonna do our coal over here. And then we're gonna need to clear one more layer for a nice good old emerald. Let's see which of these looks the most delicious. Emerald is, uh, I don't know, watermelon berry. Diamond gives me a- It just looks like diamond. I don't know what fruit is that color. Gold could definitely work. All right, here they all look laid out. I would say you don't want diamond. You don't want emerald. You don't want charcoal, but the middle three all work. It looks like corn, raspberries, and blueberries. Check out this cool design you can use in your floors. I'm gonna see if you guys know Notice what's happening here. So here's our first layer. So this is what it looks like right now. Does anyone understand what this hack is? You might be confused by it, but what's happening is every single one of these blocks is the exact same with different colors. These are all just recolorations of cobblestone. And if you lay these out, you can get a nice gradient that changes over time. There's even more that fit in here and you can use this to create really unique floor designs in your base. So check out how cool this looks. All right, let's say you're in your basement right now in your wine cellar. We know it would really be a nice build hack to bring this place together. What if some of these barrels were leaking water? By using the waterlog staircase, you can put a little bit of water there as if there's a small puddle coming out of this. And then you can even use the dripstone block. You can make this look like an actual natural leak coming from the roof. Look at that. Now you got a leak through the roof. And what would be even cooler is if you put a trap door there and the leak still comes through the trap door. So this doesn't fully hide the dripstone, but it makes it a little bit harder to see because these kind of things extend down. And then you've got your leaky cellar, which is kind of a sick build design, isn't it? Take a look at how crazy this one is. Let's go to our armory room. We all need one, but we don't have one. And here's what you could do. You're gonna start by putting two barrels on the floor, just like this. Barrels that are actually upside down. This is a really weird hack, but look how cool it looks. Now the bottom of barrels has a different texture and that texture looks just like really unique wooden planks. No one's even gonna realize they're barrels, but that's extra storage for you, my friends. All right, now you're gonna place on your armor stand uh, right around here. Obviously you're not a noob, so you have full netherite. So you gotta put that on there. The fletching table actually has an arrow on it. But if you turn it, it has a bow and an arrow. You're going to be able to control what the backdrop is. But for this one, we'll use the target and the arrow because that looks kind of sick. You want display shelves for all your best items and gear. And so those are going to go right here off to the side. This is scaffolding. And basically, y'all know, you can actually place it just like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. I literally hate scaffolding. This for real? There we go. The scaffolding creates like a shelving system for your items to be displayed on. Finally, this is like the most difficult part because like no one likes doing this, but you got to do it anyway. Now that is an armory locker right there and your best items are secretly stored below it. I like efficiency and I like chest rooms that are unique because everyone makes the same chest room and y'all just need to be more creative. So take a look at this very unique way to make your own chest room. Now there's two ways you can do it and I don't think I've ever seen this before. If you put chests next to each other, what happens? They connect or you can do this when there's a weird gap in the middle. There's a way to get rid of the weird gap in the middle and make it look like they're connected, but they're not. By putting a chest down and then putting an item frame in the middle and then another chest, it actually makes them look connected. You just have to put an item frame on both of the chests. Chest goes down and then you just item frame both of them by shift clicking. And then it literally connects them in some weird looking slinky thing. So here's the double glow frame. It, to be honest, it looks about the same. What if we go to nighttime and then drink some milk? Oh, it is, it is. So if you do this, this is also a secret way to get lighting in your base. So you literally can have like subtle lighting across all of your chests without even realizing where it's coming from. All right, so let's say this is your chest room. You put some down and then you put these on. Dude, this is really cool, isn't it? Glow ink is a pretty uh, creative item in Minecraft. You can do a lot of things with glow ink. You can scare people, maybe. Maybe we're gonna scare someone. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Minecraft allows you to put symbols in like this symbol. And then if you maybe were to space a couple of those symbols out and then maybe dye it red and then maybe make it glow, you could actually have what some may call one of the creepiest Minecraft caves ever. So you can put these all around your cave inside your base, make them glow, spam them everywhere. And then when some random person comes to look inside the cave, this is what they're faced with. <laughs> It's creepy. Isn't that wild? Now, if it's dark enough, you see that. I'm not going down there, all right? Especially if it's super dark and it's all you see. Take a look at this. We'll go to an even darker location. 
with virtually zero light. And this just changes the way Minecraft's played. Imagine you're playing and you literally turn a corner and you're like, oh boy, I can't wait to go mine. And you see this. I mean, you're, just, you're done, you're quitting. All right, so you live in the ground, but you want to feel like you live in the sky. How do you fix that? Well, there's a simple solution, and it involves using glass by simply breaking the box below and then creating a massive number of maps. This is kind of the hard part. You're going to need a lot of maps for this one. Item frame it up and begin your placement. Honestly, this is going to take me a really long time, guys. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a journey. All right, this is taking like three hours. So to do this one, you're going to need a lot of patience, to be honest with you, like a massive amount of patience. Here's the idea. You put the maps down below your base. And then when you're standing here looking down, it gives you the illusion that you're literally inside of space looking down at the world. Okay, one of the most annoying things in Minecraft is you literally can't use a ladder like you should be able to use a ladder. You can't just place a ladder and climb. You got to put it on something. But there's a way to make a freestanding ladder and it involves using trap doors like this. You're going to put a trap door down and then you're going to put a ladder on the trap door and then a trap door on top of this and then another ladder. It's a very finicky process, to be honest. Like, this, it takes an immense amount of time. It's not even worth doing. It may not be usable. We're going to find out. But it certainly is a little bit more aesthetic than uh, no ladder at all. So can you climb this? Oh, you can. It actually works perfectly. Wait a minute. I didn't expect that. And it's double-sided. All right, so we're going to level up a little bit, guys. This is a really cursed image. You can see how blurry it is because it's that cursed. It, like, melts the screen. This is a house made of chests. And I think it actually might be kind of good. First, we need a Minecraft house. Don't even be judging me, guys. You'd be building the same thing if you were in my shoes. This is a beautiful house. So it looks pretty standard and normal, but we're going to replace all the walls with something weird that shouldn't be walls and see what it turns out like. We'll just start with chests. Oh. This is terrible. I hate it. The, the great thing about this is you, you don't even like get any privacy. You can just see inside. But you do have maximum storage. All right, let's try something a little bit more unique. Chests aren't that weird. The big drip leaf, however, is a very unique design on the outside. That's weird, but we can go even weirder. I think the best thing you could do here is to replace your walls with zombie heads and water. And this creates just the ultimate vibe inside. It just really is probably one of the most cursed designs you could get. A quick way to track your path as you go is to punch out the center sections of trees. It's just punching a tree out gives you like a path to follow if you get lost in the forest or something, which makes sense, but it just sounds like a really cursed hack. Like if you're punching out a tree constantly, that sounds like a terrible thing to do. All right, guys, so we're going to go and become little Jimmy. We're little Jimmy and we just started playing Minecraft and oh my gosh, we're going to follow this Minecraft book and start banging out trees so we know where we're going, making sure we don't get lost because your memory is short term and you don't want to forget what you've done. We've taken out so many trees at this point. I am so curious what this is about to look like. Okay, and little Jimmy has gotten really far and decides he wants to turn around and go back home. So let's see if it works. Ooh. Aesthetically, it looks very bad. But like from a usability standpoint, this might not be the worst hack I've ever seen. Someone actually did this in Minecraft and I don't know how. So this time I took a lot of- Oh, it was of Dream. That's who did it. I never, I was always I, silent. I didn't know it was Dream. Is, and I think I made one of the most perfect bases. It's not done just yet. There's like a little cliff and then the other side is off the mountain too. And this is crazy. My boy just puts down 10,000 torches in the ground and just gets 18 million views, man. What it'd be like to be able to pull it up. So we're going to try the curse dream hack and see how this thing turns out for us, but kind of at a bigger scale. And by kind of, I mean like 10,000 times bigger than what dream did. So maybe I can generate 10,000 times the views. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't think that's how it works. So we're going to replace the red sand with torches. And it's probably something you've never seen before. In fact, I'd go so far to say you're going to be the first person on earth to ever see most things in this video today, including this. Wow, look at this. I feel so safe already. Oh, it goes so far. This is without night vision. This is a dude who's scared of the dark. It's like freaking dream come true. It's kind of like a romantic, like candlelit walk if you had someone to walk with you. I, I don't. Anyway. You got the full moon, the torches. I'm sorry, take your phone, screenshot this to make it your background. It's time to upgrade, guys. You know what else I love? Steve rugs. That's right, guys. We're gonna skin a Steve and put him on our floor and we're gonna welcome all of our guests by stepping on his skin. Is what I would say if I was a weird person, which I am, and that's why I said it. We're gonna do this. Now, guys, to build a perfect Steve skin, what you're gonna need are these five items in your inventory. So if you're at home skinning your own Steve, make sure you follow along closely. Step one, you wanna get the head down. Obviously, you got to chop that off in order to be able to do this. So now that we've decapitated our boy here, we're going to build the body. And in this case, it is a thick Steve. You're going to have to change this all to the light color so he stands out. And now every time I see this color of terracotta, I'm going to assume that it is Steve arm. You can't unsee it now. All right, that is incredibly thick Steve. Is it supposed to be that wide? That seems way too wide to me. You got to obviously get the pants, which are going to look like this. And then finally, all you really need are the two shoes, which are going to be blackstone and kind of look like that. So guys, just like that, you've skinned your own Steve. And if you guys want more great recipes like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel today because next week we're going to be showing you guys how to make your own Alex rug. These are the opposite portals. You might've seen me clickbait with these back in the day. I think I can make these. I'm pretty sure I know how. And prepare your eyes for this, they will bleed. We're gonna go ahead and start it right here on this mountain, right next to our Steve rug and torch ground. And we're gonna start the nether portal just like this. All right, we're gonna replace this with another portal. And just like that, we've already created our cursed end portal. And this looks great. You put this in the back of your base, your friend walks by and sees it. You're, well, he's not gonna be your friend anymore. And now for our next one. 
And by the way, I make enough cursed content at this point that I really wish Mojang would actually make this possible, but you can only do it with commands. And there, oh, that's cool. That actually looks good. I think we could even make this a little better. Some glow frames. But we can make it even better. Take a look. This is a really cool command. This is an expert level cursed command. You guys want to keep this one on the DL, okay? Don't be sharing it with your friends. Now, this one's straight from my knowledge bank. I did not Google this, but if you type this command in and then put give at the beginning, it looks like a normal I'm afraid of this. But wait a minute. What happens when I place this down? It's literally invisible. So what you can do with this is place down invisible item frames, then put the eye of ender in it. And this creates like a mega super cursed portal. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me you've ever seen anything like this before. The answer is you have not. Now, this one's straight from my knowledge bank. I did not Google this. This is a, your trigger warning now. If you are prone to curse overload, time to pay attention, folks. So we're gonna place down a couple beehives. And by using the power of Planet Minecraft texture packs, we have created something on another level of curse. Let's place our first bee down. Guys, this is the moment where things become mega cursed today. Wait, this better work. Bang, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. We've got the Speeve and the Spalix. These little creatures will fly right in there and just do their thing like a Speeve and a Spalix would do. Oh my gosh, look at the Speeve. This is what peak evolution looks like, guys. So the Speeve and Spalix will dock home in these beehives. You can even make baby Speeves and baby Spalixes. And now for the grand finale of this one, I'm actually going to punch one and get stung by a bunch of Speeves and Spalixes. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's begin the process of death. Sheesh, look at these beautiful creatures. Isn't that stunning? Oh my, oh my. I've never been so excited before. Look at them chasing me. I feel so wanted and desired right now. This is exciting. I love how they're off-centered. It makes it even more cursed. I'm gonna let the Speeves kill me. Dude, I just had a Speeve Stinger in my arm. Did you see that for a second? If we do replay mod, you're gonna see a Speeve Stinger right in there. That was phenomenal. Dark Lava. Dark Lava? My boy found Dark Lava. That's the sickest thing ever. Please teach me, sir. One eternity later. First off, I just need to say I love Ant Venom's logo. That is just such a classy logo, and I need to update Loverfellas. Now, second off here, I have no idea throughout this entire five-minute video I just watched how he actually does this. There has to be some way for us to absolutely destroy our gamma setting and bring it down past what it normally is. If I take Bright and put it to Moody and really showcase the next step to take here, we're going to go and create a mode, get some lava, put it down, and see what it looks like. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, God. Navigate to your .minecraft folder, open the options text file, look for gamma, and after the guys, the amount of work I'm going for you deserves a subscription. Okay, so we just set our gamma to negative one. Now we shall relaunch the game and test the gamma trick. Guys, we did it. Gamma is zero or it's negative one. Everything is pitch black right now, but the lava is still not black lava. It doesn't look like that dark lightsaber. What it does look like is a really creative way to play Minecraft. Now I got to remember what it was at originally and fix it and turn it back so we can test our next one accurately. So this was cool and a lot of work just to see that not work for five seconds. Great. This is one of the most cursed images ever. I told you it'd be getting worse. This is mismatched Minecraft concrete slabs. So I know how to do this. I do know that this works, but I did not know that you could go up forever and create like infinite colors. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Minecraft. We're going to do time set noon. We're going to difficulty peaceful. We're going to do world border set 100. We're going to do world border center here. And we've now moved our world border in a peaceful world right to the edge. Hello, piggies. So your setup's going to look a little bit like this. And then the game can't determine that there's actually a wall there. It glitches and then you stack them, which is weird. So I guess like right now we're, you're basically watching history be made. So here we go. We're going to add a third layer and successfully added the third layer. You can just put it here, turn it on. There's an efficiency to this. If you really want to make this the most cursed possible, create a piston tower like that. Very good. Very lovely. We are getting somewhere, gamers. So now that we've created this, you could basically do this indefinitely and create anything that you want. Speaking of crazy, these bedrock carrots are going to make you feel crazy when I show you how it's done. There's a command you can use that literally grows carrots on any block and like it just works. Let's try piston potatoes. I actually think it's kind of cute. Now, what happens if we turn it on? Oh, they, oh, it breaks a potato comes out. It's potato piston. So your new farm could just look like this, guys. Who needs freaking like wheat anymore? No need to water them and then power it and your potatoes are supplied. Let's put some more things down here. All right, so I created two more inventions. Potato piston we've all seen before. This is old news. Now we've got the wool wheat and I'm gonna try some bone meal on it to see if it actually grows. Oh God, what have we created here? That's weird, but it's not as weird as what I call the eggplant wood. This is, it's representative of an eggplant. There's no eggplant, unfortunately, in Minecraft. Now guys, here's an idea that I came up with here. If water in lava creates stone, then tell me why this doesn't work in Minecraft. And I know this is a little bit weird. And if a stick plus two stone equals a sword, then why in the world does water plus lava in your crafting table not create a sword? This is a travesty. We need to get Mojang to add this as a feature, guys. Oh, dang. This one's got a special feeling to it. That feels very good. Get in there and choke him up. Let's go. 
burned so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to test this one out. Now, I'm not using gold blocks in ours. I'm gonna be using diamonds because the Zacklings are rich, all right? Now, here's the rules, guys. If this doesn't actually satisfy me, I'm gonna raise my desk by one inch every single time they don't satisfy me. We'll see how high we get by the end of this video. Okay, okay, so far it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my gosh, now I can't soak them up early. That's gonna be a little bit uh, dangerous, so we gotta be careful here. Oh, it's beautiful. If it gets too laggy, it's not gonna satisfy me. And I'm gonna have to weirdly squat all video. I really overestimated the power of my computer. All right, let's let's give it a walk. We're gonna see here. I can't even fall. Hey, stop going up. It's so laggy, I can't even get down. Here we go, guys. This is it. The moment of truth. Who's ready? Who's ready? <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Huge thumbs up. That felt fantastic. Now, let's see what this guy does here. Slow motion, breaking the world's biggest chorus fruit. I didn't even know you could make them this big. Wow. Oh, look at this. That is so satisfying. I have no doubt, almost, that this is going to be one of the most beautiful things ever. All right, so I just made a super tall tower because I feel like this is a very honest way to test if this works. So, we're going to go ahead and put one down and see what happens. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a firework. That little spindly part of the bottom of firework that comes when it shoots off. That is amazing. I'm not going up any higher for that one. So look at how beautiful this is. It's a sphere of shulker bullets that just like fly around wherever you look or something. Like truly beautiful. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's literally so gorgeous. All right. So we got the command typed in and I don't know why mine happens to look like this, which is floating over, over nothing right there. I don't know particularly why that's happening, but in a way, isn't this even more satisfying? I, I don't know about that, but look at this. It's like a lava core down there spurting out molten lava from the ground. Look at how bright that is. Like in the dark, this is really cool. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10. It's satisfying still to me. All right. Now, this is what I think we've all done. You make the lava cast water, you know, blah, 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 blah. it's just like a really good tool to grief. But like, is it a good satisfying tool? Because it's a lot of work. Like, I don't know. When you fast forward it and you cut it, it looks good, right? When you do this and you don't see all the work it takes to set it up. I love it. But is it actually like that in game? All right, phase one. Let's pour some water. Oh, good. I like that it spread out evenly over the tree. Now the lava. Oh, look. It's so slow. The video makes it look like it's just boom, 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 instant. But like, this is so slow. Like, to then pour this. And then it does that. And then you got to do it on the corners. Oh, man. I don't know. Like, sure, it's got a little bit of a satisfying vibe to it. But like, look, now what? Look, look what I have to do. And then I got to wait for like an hour for it to come down. This one is not satisfying. We're going up an inch. Just high enough that we now got to sit a little bit. Get that back posture right. Now, what happens if you put a cat inside of a box of a bunch of creepers? I think we can know where this is going. This looks satisfying. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It just makes a perfect circle. I like the fact that they're so scared. They'd rather go to the corner and actually die in the corner instead of actually face their fear. Which is a cat. Come on, creepers. What's wrong with a cat? Now, I feel like this, without even the cat inside of it, is already kind of satisfying. Like, you get to see their faces peek up. Maybe when I come down, they'll all look at... Okay, well, they, they kind of do. Not really. All right, let's just get the cat in there and see what happens. If it's not satisfying, my desk goes up one inch and it gets weird and I have to squat. Three, two, one, cat. I missed. Cat. How, how do you get the cat in there? Yo, I can't even do it. Hey, this is kind of hard. How'd my boy get a cat? Oh, wait, I think he dropped it in from the top. All right, here comes the cat and the creepers. How satisfying is it? Oh, look at that. Literally every single one is running away. Not a single one is near this thing. Let's put one more cat in and see what happens. Catception, baby. Now what y'all gonna do, huh? Now you're confused. I gotta give it to him, guys. This is a pretty satisfying one. A chain reaction. So this guy's putting a Zoglin down. Oh, down in a pit of skeletons to see what he does. Oh. So the Zoglin made every single skeleton get aggressive towards the other skeletons. And it created a super war where they all kill each other. And it's like a battle royale. All right, I cannot do any more skeletons in this or we're going to lag. We have a lot more than that video we just saw. So we're now going to put the hoglet in and see what happens right in the center. Good luck, dog. It's a good, it's a good spread of skeletons. I won't lie. I'm excited to see this. He's singing about getting in there, but he's not, he's not quite doing it yet. Getting a little bit agitated, I think. Here we go. Oh, there it is. The first hit, the second hit, the third hit. We've got three angry skeletons, four or five. It just starts spreading very slowly. Wow. All right, it is absolute carnage on the middle to the left half, and the right half is not even yet to be touched. Oh, now it's heating up. Now it's heating up. The right side is where everyone's at. That's where the action is. To think one single arrow is all it took for every single one of these to die. That's it. So we killed an immense number. Let's go down there and look at all the items on the ground. That is insane, and it's going to be even more satisfying if we suck them up. Woo. That's nice. That's really nice. This is old mumbo jumbo with the old salt skulk sensor trapdoor creation. It looks honestly incredible. I mean, this is, look at this thing. Come on, tell me you couldn't look at that literally all day. 
I made a small version of this, and, and frankly, it's extremely loud. Listen, it's so loud that when you really get up there to look at it, it kind of hurts your ears a little bit. But as we zoom out and see, there, it's just kind of random. Even if I made like a giant version of it, I think it'd be kind of satisfying, but I think you actually have to speed this one up in like two to three X, which means, God, this is freaking high. Okay. <laughs> So if you jump into like a bunch of carpets like this, it creates the most satisfying visual appearance that I think I've ever seen. So, I mean, you can use whatever colors you want, I guess, and we're just gonna see how tall we can make it and see if it's satisfying. Three, two, one. Oh wait, I forgot to put my slime down. Okay, this looks perfect. So we're gonna put it into first person mode, no GUI, so we can look down and see it. And uh, we're just gonna jump in and hope it's good. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know about my color choice, but I like how like when you get to the bottom, it almost like changes shape. This one I gotta give a thumbs up. So we call this one the grass grow. Take a dirt world, put down some mycelium, some grass, and watch them grow together. Now, this is of course sped up. So will it actually be satisfying in real time? I feel like it probably won't be. So let's pop down some grass and, so, oh wait, probably we'll put it a little deeper. Some mycelium there. We're gonna zoom out and uh, well, I, I guess we're gonna wait and see what happens and hopefully it satisfies me. Wait. There we go, look at this, I set the tick speed to a million and now it happens in real time. I think I made it a little bit too fast, but whoa, it's literally like a battle taking place right here. Wow, look at that. I feel like grass is dominating at this point. Like it basically completely encompassed all the mycelium here. This one to me though, it did feel satisfying. All right, so this guy comes in with a fortune pickaxe and mines a bunch of diamonds. So it looks like it could be pretty satisfying, but it also isn't that long of a clip. So I don't know how it's actually gonna be when we put it to the test in game. So we have a world full of diamonds and snow for some reason. Got our pickaxe ready to go. Let's give her a shot. All right, here we go. It's not bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it feels good, but I feel like what makes diamonds satisfying is the rareness. Like when you have so many of them, it just doesn't feel that good. And so for that reason, we're going up an inch. Hopefully my thighs can handle it. Oh God. Now we're doing the awkward splits here to try to stand in frame with some squatting. They don't call me thunder thighs for nothing. Now in this particular video, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. It looks incredibly satisfying. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to test that one out. Now inside of this, we've got about, I don't know, 20,000 of these little, little worms that squiggle around. We're just gonna throw one of these potions and kind of see what damage we do. Oh. Do we get almost every single one of them? Oh my God. Oh my God. They're all gone. Look at this. The experience suction cup, the one heart. This is the most satisfying thing we've seen today. And that sucks because I really need to stand up. So I'm trying to get unsatisfying so I can get out of this uncomfortable position. And so my, my boy out here saying, what's more satisfying than a panda? A satisfying flying yeah. panda that creates a giant airplane of them and they shoot through the sky like a laser beam. Just launching pandas out, just like it's nothing. I mean, this is crazy. All right, here's the command. Repeat, always active. Give me a panda gun. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's incredible. These things just keep going. It's a great panda migration of 2021. Wow. Oh my gosh, they're stu- Oh, they hit a tree. I'll, no, 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 stop, boys. I'll get you, I'll, I'll let you get through. Come on now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't you stop, let's go as far as you can make. Oh, they, 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 they got a little bit of a hold up here. Honestly, I did not think pandas would be so satisfying. My legs are disappointed to hear it, but we'll try another and hope that it's not so I can stand up. The old end crystal extravaganza. Three of these bad boys, three command blocks, couple end crystals on repeat. There's no way that works. Right? God, my legs are actually starting to shake. I need to just get in there and test this right now. I can't wait any longer. Okay. Oh my leg. <laughs> I gotta sit down for a second, guys, but listen to me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn them all onto always active. Oh, oh my legs feel good. Always active, always active. There it is. And now finally, we're gonna turn them onto repeat. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got those spawning. We get a bunch of them and then break the command block. So it seems like that's about time. Break, break, break. Oh, look at that. That is quite nice. Oh, it's kind of pretty. There's no lag associated with it. It looks kind of pretty. Hey, this is almost like an art piece. And our first one is a fancy chair design. This is cool. Now, this one's gonna be surprising to most of you because it looks like in the photo, after doing a little research here, this only works on a slab floor. All right, so you want the slab floor and then you put on the concrete powder. Put on them little door things. The, oh, oh God. Okay, now I'm a little bit concerned because that's what it looks like, but it's clearly not the case. Now we got to rethink our strategy here. Oh my God, this isn't good. Okay, my first design didn't work. I'm gonna try it one more time here. Let's get some quartz down. Put the door on the back, two handles. And the banner. There it is. The bottom of your chair is a slab and the rest of it looks like a normal block. So now you can pull it off and you legitimately get a throne. Okay, this is a little life hack for you guys to make your water look insane. You just put blue blocks under it and I guess it gives it more life. So here's without blue. 
Here's with blue. Wait, really? Does he have shaders? All right, well, let's just world edit this bad boy and see what we can do here. Guys, this one is not real unless this one, this one isn't real. This is a fake hack. It literally doesn't look like any different. You have to use shaders for this to work. A spinning globe? There's no way. I will do whatever it takes to make this work. I'm not drinking jalapeno juice. First, we're gonna put down the command block. Paste this down. We're gonna put a button on this and see what happens. You have to put it on top of a slab for it to work. So then we'll put it down. Then we'll put a button and push it and it should spawn a helmet. Hey, that's good. That's good. We're actually making progress here. Second command block above candle. Game rule, command block, output false. Go in here, type this new command in, always active. And wait, I think I did something wrong. Repeat. Oh my gosh, look at this. Bro, are you kidding me? Yeah, it actually works. Look at that. And there's no lag. It actually looks so good. This is actually mind blowing. Wait. I got an idea. If you put it on Needs Redstone, put it in the wall and put a lever there, it works. You can actually make it so you can turn this on and off when you walk into your base. Bro, this is, this is actually hands down like one of the sickest hacks I've ever seen. Oh, baby aquarium. Okay. So surround a chest, put glass on it, then an item frame, then a map, and then put a fish in. Doesn't seem like it's gonna work to me. So chest with trap doors all the way around it. Is the item frame upside down? I'm pretty sure it is. Now, shockingly, it did put a fish in there. And if I cover this up, it might actually it might actually survive. To see if this one really worked, it's really a matter of will a fish live there. What if you put a sea lantern? Would it give it a little glow underneath? Dude, it gives it a glow. Look at how cool that is. This looks less like a fish cage to me and more like a jar of a live fish you put in your kitchen. Dyed banners and invisible item frames can create a different French suit of playing cards. I believe this is an invisible item frame command. We'll, we'll, we'll try it right here. So that's work. That's an invisible item frame. So I feel like to make this table, what we're gonna do is three by three, just like this. Trap doors. Obviously, see pickles in the center. So we're going to put our frames down, I guess. Why is there no easier way to make banners? Like, why is this so complicated? We'll try a heart first. So it's a white banner with some red in it. Probably like that. Put a little bit of white on there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. If there's anyone who can make a heart, it's gotta be Loverfella, right? Oh, it's an upside down heart. <gasps> Look at that, I actually made a heart. We're gonna put it on the table. <laughs> That's good. Um, I'll try to make this one, the four corners. It could be like that. Uh, that white dye. Um, okay. Look, it's not exactly like a classic card, but I think it kind of does resemble one at this scale of the table. See, I like this one because it's just so simple and people might look at it and be like, wow, that's crazy. You just have to use the command. It's a chandelier design to give off actual light. So take a look at this, guys. Very simple, but it's gonna bring your builds together. It's gonna make them look juicy. Only way to test this one, of course, is at nighttime. That's candle time. So we're gonna put one of the old versions of the candle on the tree. This is one a lot of you might've seen before, and that is this with a candle on it. Nope. Can't. 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 Candle. Can't. What? There we go. It was actually incredibly difficult to place a candle and end rod on top of a lever. So it looks like this coming out of the wall. I'll be honest, like it connects well. Carpet plus glow lichen. Whoa, look at this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Obviously umbrellas are kind of a must, but having a glow in the dark umbrella really brings this nighttime vibe out. Okay, so I think you actually you might want to start with like this. So the way to do it is to place your stuff and then break the block and then the carpet stays floating. So I think it's actually a very tedious process. You have to do this all the way around. So once you do that, then you place this under it. And this is what allows it to float and break the laws of physics. Wow. I can't believe that worked. All right, here's a build hack. Um, Quite interesting. Wow. This is like a cannon. All right. Let's go ahead and destroy some enemies together. Okay. So this is like the front of the, or the back of... This is the back. This is the back of the cannon. Our, okay, well, our cannon's facing the wrong way. There we go. So the back of the cannon looks like this, and then really the cannon itself is just this that so goes all the way through it. It already, it actually already looks like a cannon, which is pretty crazy to me because we didn't add that much to it. I thought this would be kind of hard though, low-key. The only other detail really this guy adds, which is pretty stunning to me, is there's a spruce staircase here, which kind of pulls it together like this. Nope, like this. And then some signs. Wow, this looks so good. Oh, guys, look at this. I have upgraded it. If you put these into the sign and then paste it again, it looks like you've got bolt like screws inside of your sign. That is a really good cannon. I mean, the, the detail is just immaculate. All right, next build hack. Oh, cool microphone. Wait, how did he actually do this? Bro, that looks like armor stands at the bottom, but like, I don't know how he did that. What the heck? I mean, I can improve it a little bit. There's one thing I do know. I believe if you lead an axolotl and then pull it up in a bucket, I think he stays leaded or something like that. Like, let me, let me try. I think if I like pick him up now. Yeah, if you pick him up, you keep the rope. But it does look like a microphone until I get that bottom thing. I don't know how he did that. Yeah, it is an armor stand, but how? My only guess is that it's using snow. I, I really am worried about this one. I, I have to get it. I don't have an option at this point. If I can push this in with a piston. 
Bruh. It didn't even go in because of this, which screwed me up. And now they're not lined up. Oh, God, this sucks. I guess we got to skip it. I, really, I don't know how to do this one. I can't figure out the bottom part. Skulk blocks can be used for a space looking background. All right. So this little beast right here is the skulk block and apparently looks like space. So uh, let's see if it looks like space. Oh, those are my footsteps. They're kind of creepy. They make a lot of noise, and I didn't know they changed. All right, here we are in a corner of Skulks, and I would argue they do look like space. I would say yes, in fact, this hack is legit. People said if you squint and look at it, it looks like an old TV. I mean, a TV wouldn't nope. sit on the floor, so we'll put it on a shelf and see if it actually looks like a TV. Because, like, old TVs have them antennas on it. I, I don't even know, man. If you look at it like this and, like... Like, put this on your eyes and, like, squint a little bit. Like, I can see it. This is good, guys. <laughs> okay, let's make ourselves a Perry the Platypus. Man, these build hacks are great. You never know what you're gonna get with these build hacks. And sometimes you get one like this, and it just makes your day. So let's do ourselves a nice little Perry here, and let's see if this works. I love this. This is so good. Like, what an iconic moment. You know what I mean? There's a functional hack. You can place rails on lightning rods, which actually allows you to make a floating roller coaster. You can, like, literally build a monorail out of this, and I oh, this is cool. So, like... You can't put, can you put, you can't put it in the water, but like low key, it's like not that good. So let's do a couple of these. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Please work. It's not working. So it's. <laughs> what do you mean you're not working? God, it doesn't work in Java. A snake. Wow. That's not what I thought we'd be building in our. What? Well, this one's, this one's kind of difficult because he doesn't show how he did it. Oh, oh, oh. It's just Ender Dragon head with like black blocks behind it and then buttons. You know how much scary people we've been doing this? I'm a snake. I'm a feather. Okay, so I'm not really sure where we're gonna build this. I don't know. This is weird. I won't lie to you. This is really strange. Actually, that's not bad. So it's got like a snake body. We'll have it wrap around the roof up here, kind of like this. And then uh, we'll put the little snake spikes on it. It's a big snake. I won't lie to you. That's a, that's a monster. Boy, you see that coming at you. You know you're in the wrong country. This got Australia written all over it. How do I make a tail? Oh, a banner. That could be nice, maybe. I mean, overall, it's weird. I didn't think we'd be putting a snake on our bathroom. So we got a little seating area out back. This little flower here is kind of where we buried our cat, which the giant snake ate. Now we've killed the snake and somehow it's part of the roof. All right, our next one is a beautiful amethyst tree. Look at this. So basically just like build up a tree, some amethyst cubes on there, and then deck that sucker out. Oh, that's cool. Seems like we just kind of go up and make random paths in the sky. It's still a work in progress, so it will look good if you believe in it. These are very pretty blocks. I would date them. It's, it's really tough, guys, to get this one to work. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, from the ground, though, it's not actually that bad. Like, you look at it and you think like, oh, that's kind of a unique little design. But I, I just think the problem is, I don't know how to build a tree. Maybe if I put a log down there, like a spruce log, this might be good. Now we're talking. It's got some depth. Looks more like a tree now. What? Oh, he made an illusion. That's actually gonna be so cool to make. Whoa. Oh. The concern I have here is the shadow is gonna ruin it. It's always going left. I don't know. This seems like a good spot to be. Here we go. Okay, so there's our illusion in surprisingly almost perfectly centered. It seems as though the chests go like this in the back corners, and then this one like goes up like right above it. So I got to line it up perfectly, but I think you can see to get that angle is borderline impossible when you're flying. I can't do it. I need to get a path over here. So we got to extend our deck out a little bit. Do a little something like that. A little staircase action. Wait. Wait. Oh, it's so close. I feel like I almost got it right there, but you can still see a little sliver in the corner. I don't know how he made his like vanish completely. I think it's a field of view trick where if you lower it enough, maybe that'll help you. But I think this is pretty sweet. And what we could do is put like a little glazed terracotta here that tells you to face forward and look to your left. Then you can line it up and get the weird illusion. It does work pretty well. I mean, that's really strange, isn't it? Like when you open it, that's a cool design. Steampunk is gears. So for this, we're going to be using copper to make gears. Okay. You can use quartz that's or cool. polish andesite, but copper works best. Ah. This is cool. Doesn't fit our theme at all. I mean, it's a good looking gear. There's like different sizes as well, which is really cool. But like, what do I need gears for? House is never complete. Don't house gears, guys. Don't forget I told you that right here today. Gears are everything. I'm going to get rid of this uh, because I think it looks a little better just to look at the optical illusion. There we go. Okay. Now, in terms of symmetry, we threw that out the door because we're a modern house. We'll do a gear right here. A very tiny gear. Does that look like a gear to anyone? They're already turning to not copper. My gears are being ruined. You know what, though? That's fine. So we have a gear there, and then we are going to add a gear on the inside. So we've got our gear here, and then a gear on the inside that, that does, doesn't connect to our gear. I'm trying to make a baby gear in the corner. 
kind of like fix the big gear. That's, I mean, it kind of looks like it. It kind of does. Kind of has a gear vibe to it. This one's strange. I feel like it absolutely it serves no purpose. So the gear thing's looking a lot better. I put a glass wall and then some fences on the side. And I feel like, you know, a little bit of trim on the outside. It's starting to look less like a crazy person's house and more like a crazy family. Like a lot of crazy people, not just one live here. This is a survival raft. This will go right inside of our lake outside front. Honestly, this is starting off to be a really good build hack right here. This looks good. I do not have a lot of room to make an entire uh, one of these in the front yard. We're going to be caught in real close here, but I think we can, I think we can manage to do it. Okay, there's the decent start. I think it looks good. The bed's going to go here, and I'll do a white one. Keep it classy. We're going to make ours black because we're going to be Blackbeard. Wow. In terms of builds, this is one of my favorite. Only issue I'm having here is I can't put a sign down because our snake head is there. And like, you know, at the end of the day, what's going to come first? Snake head or boat? Snake head. I'm not gonna lie to you too. It's, it's a very strange view considering you're gonna be pooping there and your friends could be out here on a boat having a boat party. Oh, these are really cool portal designs. The mossy one. Oh, these are so cool. I think this amethyst one could go right next to our tree. So what are the portal like right here? So to me, it looks like our inner layer is going to be mostly this, mostly like a lot of this. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of this, kind of just around the edge here, a little bit like that. And then the problem is, I don't know what that outside block is they're using. So I'm gonna use deep slate because I still haven't learned all the new blocks. It's not looking too bad yet. Yet? I think it's looking decent. It just got to go a little bit higher. Like, I feel like this actually could come out kind of better than I thought. But, uh, you know, I'm not really sure about that yet. It's definitely one of the better portal designs I've seen. It's just like, you kind of got to be good at building to pull it off. And like, I'm kind of not the best at it. Okay, so that is what ours looks like right now with a tree in front of it. It's kind of cool, but we got to light it to really see how it uh, actually looks once we get this in here. So let's get a flint and steel in there. Uh, it's actually kind of good. We added some fences, some ladders, signs, chests. I just wanted to make it look like people have like built this, like it was like built by humans. I'm not going to lie. It's great because it blocks the sight of the cow or Bessie. Here comes a very unique build hack, my friends. Uh, not that everything hasn't been unique so far, but this one's a grab machine. Lots of levers. Oh, the levers can... Oh, 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 that's cool. Wow. Guys, I think I have the perfect spot for this. I think it's going to blow your mind. Since we got our gears in here, how interesting would it be if right next to our weird industrial zone, we had a crane right here? And this crane is what lifted the snake up. You know what I'm saying? Like if I make it too close to the base, it's gonna run into the bathroom. We're gonna have to deconstruct that wall because it's it's just it's gonna have to. This takes priority. Oh, those even look like those little like rolly things, you know, like the, the whatever those are called, the construction things you use. You know what I'm saying? Tracks, whatever. Okay, it's definitely gonna have to break the wall, and I feel like oh maybe not. It might be perfect. If the bathroom wall falls and we see someone in there, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. Okay, this looks so good. All right, one minute on the clock. Let's see what we can do. All right, look how cool this is. I feel like I just invented my own build hack, okay? It's pretty cool, ready? I put cracks in the ground behind the wheels so it looks like this thing was so powerful as it drove over the ground, it left cracks. That felt like a moment of genius to me. And I'm very proud of it, thank you. The realistic giraffe. So far, it's not too bad. It does have like a good giraffe feel to it. I feel like it's got a nice giraffe tail. It doesn't look so scary to me like the other things we've seen today. I think we're gonna put it next to the cow. Make the bounce with it. I'm gonna put it here actually, like outside the cage taunting the cow. Maybe they're like fighting over drinking the cow's milk. It's a weird situation. Either way you look at it. I mean, that is that is very yellow, isn't it? So it looks like it kind of looks like this and then comes way up. We'll make our neck a little bit taller in a second. That's just the basic body shape there. And then it has some spruce trap doors on the neck piece, which is apparently the fur. Look, I don't know if I see something with the trap doors on its neck, I'm gonna be really scared. So it's gonna come out like this with a spruce staircase on top. This is honestly like such a cool build. I, you don't see drafts too often, to be honest. I, I think after today, the one thing I'm gonna remember is the level of using levers in builds is something I never thought I would ever do. This is kind of the hard part here is making the banner. Middle strip yellow, trying to make it into circles. Let's see, hit it with the uh, rectangle on the outside. Banners are the one thing I feel like I never learned how to use properly and now I'm paying the price because this is so hard for me to figure out. Okay, so I feel like I dyed everything correctly. Mine's a little bit different. So these spots go essentially all over him and it already looks really good. Okay, so the neck looks good. Now for the eyeballs. How, how am I supposed to fit this on? How, Wait, why does mine look so dumb? Right, of course. He puts them up here. That would make more sense. Okay, there you go. That is actually one of the best giraffes I've ever seen. I am surprised myself that I made this thing. Oh, it's a sword in stone using the... Oh, oh that's creative. That's very creative. Here we go. Did I build that correctly? I feel like I... Yo, leave it to me to make a one-step build incorrectly. All right, that's just how I am. No, no, no. What the heck? Upside down. How do you, you gotta have a full block on top of it? Man, this is a little more confusing than I thought. You gotta do it like this. All right. 
Then we add the torch on top of it. Okay, from a distance, as long as it's not like flaring up, that definitely looks like a sword in a stone. All right, this should be interesting. I, I think this one's called the egg lamp. And look at this. Oh, ah! you're using the dragon egg and then like honey blocks on top. It actually looks fantastic. I'm going to make the nice blue table because like who doesn't like this wood? If you don't like it, get off this channel, right? It looks fire. Put down the egg and you got to shift click and then it gets placed. Okay, there we go. So this is our nether themed one. Would it work as a nether themed one? And it does. It does. That looks so cool. That's pretty good. The TikTok build hack is apparently a Minecraft TV. So let's take a look at this glass, some carpet on top of it. Eh, off the bat. I mean, first impressions, this doesn't look great. Oh, those are supposed to be handles. Okay. That okay. 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 Get a little creative here now. All right. Looks like step one was to just build a big fat wall right here. All right. We got to put carpet on the roof of it. This one, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Like, eh. I don't know. Maybe black might look a little better. Okay, now it's got a good TV feel. It's coming together. Of course, it wouldn't be a TV without a beautiful stand right in front of it that you can put all of your stuff on. All right, guys. So this is what the TV looks like. Uh, I think it's a pretty good build. All right. This one seems very interesting. How to build a DJ mixing machine. So yeah, if this thing doesn't function, it's going to lose a lot of points to me, but it looks like it might. It's got the block. It's got the music. It's got the button. Like it could work. It, it does look like a DJ stand too. Alright, I'm gonna switch up the colors and see, like, is this a universal color type design or does it only work with one color? This seems like it's got like an Australian Outback kind of vibe to it. So there's our basic stand right there. And then on the sides, two pillars and then three note blocks. Boom. Yo, it is literally the hardest thing to place down these right next to each other. I mean, that is not an easy thing to do. All right, I don't know if YouTube is gonna be able to beat this one. Tried to do a K shot up, made like a little fence. I feel like you gotta be protected as a DJ. How to build a chicken coop. This one seems really creative. Like it seems like it could actually be, it could actually be like a design I use. Chicken coop, let's give it a shot. You just kind of do this all the way around a circle. You're gonna have some stairs right here. Oh, this is a good way to use the new walls. So these brick walls are actually like kind of what goes up on the side. And then you've got some of these bad boys on top for the roof. So it kind of does look adorable. But as far as that inside piece goes, I think, it must have been like a fence water in it. Oh, it might have been a half slab of stairs. If we use a slab right here, we should be able to still put coral that stays alive. Frame. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's great. That's really great. Okay. I kind of messed up this cage thing because it wasn't flat, but I've never seen a chicken cage like this before. If you guys enjoyed today's video, click right here to go watch another mega video with over 50 more crazy insane Minecraft hacks. Peace.